Hey guys, we're going to do a quick video here on sanctuaries. Uh, first, I want to start off with what a sanctuary is to me. It's an area in which your, your piece of property where those deer are not pressured at all or very little uh, during um, the majority of the season. And, you know, my sanctuaries, they'll include the bedding. They'll also include some food at some points, whether that's, you know, white oaks or even a food pot at times, depending on my piece of property. Now, getting into hunting a piece of property where you've got what I would call a sanctuary, um, I'm going to say uh, every single one of my pieces of property have got uh, multiple sanctuaries or just a huge sanctuary. I like to look at a piece of property and be able to say that I can hunt the fringes of that piece of property or the outside edge of that piece of property and allow those deer to have 90% of that piece of property as sanctuary. So, you know, that's an area that I'll never go into. Basically, what I'll do is I'll set my food plots up um, in a way where I'll, I'm able to target those deer either coming uh, from their bedding into the food source and then never have to step foot in what I call that sanctuary. And even on those food pots, you know, I may target one one side of that food pot only unless I've got a big mature deer, you know, coming in on the other side and then I'll adjust. Um, but I like to look at those pieces of property and say, you know, 99, 95% of that property is gonna be a sanctuary where I will not go into. And it seems to work out very well. You know, I've, I've harvested multiple uh, big mature deer with archery gear, and this pattern, this philosophy has worked. Um, you know, whether you're put, playing uh, nicks of hardware, um, food pots, the soybean fields, your agriculture fields, um, if you're hunting just strictly bedding, you know, figure out that area where you feel like those deer are going to be at and allow them to come out and then target those deer and be able to harvest them successfully without educating not only that deer, but multiple deer, you know, that would move through that uh, same transition area. So hopefully this helps you guys out in regards to getting out there, um, creating sanctuaries, establishing those, and hopefully you guys can get your piece of property or piece of property where 90, 95% of that piece of property is what I would call a sanctuary and be able to hunt those fringes and have find that success. So I appreciate you guys liking the video. Hopefully you guys are getting out there in nature. And like always, best luck on your upcoming hunt.